Hello, it's me. Whew. Just making this video so that later me can see where I was today. Today is September, I mean August 18, 2016. It's my birthday month and um, August is like my favorite month of the year because it's my month. And there's no like super big holidays in it to like take from the fact that it's my birthday month. So anywho, so um, just wanted to make a video for myself for later on so I could view it. And I like to keep up with my feelings and my mindsets at different times in my life. Kind of like a diary, but better. Okay, so the last two years have been the hardest years of my life. Like seriously, I don't think I've been through as much trauma, as much betrayal, and as much whatever as I have in the last two years. And surprisingly, as the last two years have been the worst years of my life, the last two years have been the most exciting years of my life, which is crazy how that happens. But I think with God, like strange stuff like that happens. And it makes sense if you understand God. So, uh, three or four years ago, uh, I found myself in a depression, deeply depressed and just, um, just really broken. We had just adopted two girls and added them to our family. My husband's job or work had gotten kind of overwhelming and in the fact that he was gone and we had just adopted kids. And so I was home with the kids like all the time. Plus he decided after he adopted that he wanted to up his ministry. And so he was out of the house pretty much, I want to say almost every day of the week after work. So he would work and he works long shifts and then he was gone. And so it was me home with the kids. I was going through a lot because um, uh, right before we adopted them, I sort of fell into like a spiritual attack or a depression, whatever you want to call it. And I don't know a whole lot about depression because I'd never researched it a lot. I just know that the Holy Spirit told me I was in a depression. And I began to, um, it, it was like I was having these crazy thoughts all the time, just feeling like, you know, I, I was bad at everything kind of deal. And it was really, really horrible. Um, and eventually, I got a pounding headache to where I could not um, um, get out of bed. And so for a while, probably like, um, I wanna say maybe a couple months, I was spending most of my days in bed all day long crying. And at first I did that, but then I realized life must go on. I had to get up. And so um, I grabbed my Bible and I just started reading my Bible. And it was there as I read my Bible that God began to talk to me, to minister to me, and just to heal me in all these different areas. Long story short, I don't really know exactly what happened or what God's process was because I don't feel like he showed me exactly what happened. But through reading the word and praying and being in his presence and all that, it was like, something happened and I got this excitement for life um, one thing about my life is that I have always been surrounded around really critical mean people and so in my childhood like most kids they grow up and they have moms and dads who tell them you're amazing you're awesome you can be anything you want to be I did